Hey, Moon, look outside. It's the middle of the day, but the sky is getting dark over on Earth. Whoa, you're right. The humans must be very confused down there. They're probably wondering why it's suddenly nighttime in the afternoon. I think it's happening. You're passing in front of me right now and blocking my light. We're having a solar eclipse. I love when we put on this show. Sometimes I only cover part of you, but it looks like today I'm lining up just right to block all your light. A total solar eclipse. No wonder it's getting so dark. Good thing we're up here to put the pieces together. Just wait until I move. The lights will come back on and the sunny show will go on. Another successful eclipse in the books. Thanks for the beautiful shadows, Moon. I love our little performances for the folks on Earth. A solar eclipse happens when at the right moment, the moon passes between the sun and Earth. Sometimes the moon only blocks part of the sun's light. This is called a partial solar eclipse. Other times the moon blocks all of the sun's light, like today, and what you will see on April 8th, 2024. This is called a total solar eclipse. As the moon blocks the sun's light, it casts a shadow on part of the Earth. The moon's shadow makes a trail as the Earth rotates. This trail is called the path of totality. If you want to experience darkness during an eclipse, you have to be in the path of totality. Oh, don't forget to remind the kids to watch safely with eclipse glasses or a projector. We don't want any eyes getting damaged from looking at you directly. That's right, Moon. This is going to be so cool. I can't wait to see all the amazed faces when you first start crossing in front of me. This family looks ready with their correct solar eclipse glasses. We know staring at the sun can damage your eyes, even during an eclipse when it's partly covered. Oh, wait. We came up with a fun craft, a homemade solar viewer you can make with stuff around the house. That's right, kids. We wanted to show you an easy way to watch our upcoming solar eclipse if you do not have the special glasses. All you need is an empty cereal box, some scissors, tape, pin, and a small piece of foil. Add a piece of white paper to the bottom inside of the box. This will be out viewing screen. Next, use your scissors to cut two small rectangular holes on the top of the box. Make each about an inch or two wide. Once you have the holes cut, cover one hole securely with the foil. Place the shiny side facing into the box and tape or glue the edges so no light can sneak in. Very carefully poke a very small hole with a pin in the center of the tin foil. Now comes the best part. On the day of the eclipse, with your back to the sun, hold your cereal box viewer up to the sky. Point the foil-covered hole towards me and you'll see my silhouette projected inside the box. Move it around to see my shape change as the moon drifts in front. Isn't that cool? You can safely check out our eclipse performance from the comfort of your own backyard. Just remember, only look at the image inside and not directly at the sky unless you have special solar eclipse glasses. Be sure to thank the moon for providing the shadows. Now get crafting and we'll see you at the big event. Stay safe and clear skies. The eclipse is going to rock. See you in a bit, moon.